Welcome, in this video, we'll explain to you how exactly the sum login function works. So when you're on a certain on website, so you've got many third party websites like, like Zoogenic, Exhibit Toolkit, Exhibit Services, and so on. And if you want to use these tools, sometimes they have functionality in order to connect wallet. And if you click on that and click on sum app, what exactly happens behind the scenes? If uh, right now click on connect wallet, you can see this QR code there. Are there any risks affiliated with that? Uh, and so on. So this is what I'm going to clear up quickly. And uh, so now, uh, now is you know, if you have the sum wallet, you can now scan the QR code. So I'm going to do that now. And yeah, what kind of data is being passed over? And so wait a sec, so I'm just going to sign this here. So you can sign on your phone and we're more or less quote unquote logged in. So, so what happens in the background there? So is it safe to use the connect function? Yes, it is totally safe. So what, what, what permissions does the party, so in this case, Zoogenic have if you sign in? The only thing they can do is they can send you a, a, a payload more or less, so a transaction to your phone, and they can ask you if you want to sign it. But if you do, uh, but it, but they can't sign things on your behalf. So everything that happens has to be signed on your behalf. And what kind of data do you, do they get if you sign in? The only thing they know is your your address. So I can even show you that on a more granular level. So if we now do a login, so I'm just going to disconnect here again, and we can actually now check out your request here. So if we click on connect wallet. Uh, there is going to be a trans. So well, there is going to be a payload in the background. Um, um, well, if you know, click on some app, my value connect wallet, so now there's the payload. And uh, now um, it's just a, more or less just uh, giving them the capability of, like, as mentioned, sending payloads or pushing payloads to your phone, where you can then decide how you want to continue. So as mentioned, they can sign on your behalf, they can't do anything. Uh, the, the only thing they know is that you have, um, well, they know the account address, but not uh, what, what kind of person and so on. And there we are, perfect. So we can now see here uh, what was signed more or less. Yep. So this is all the, yeah, this is all the data uh, they get. So uh, if you click here, uh, I'm just going to click on a post request here. So the only thing they get here is you, you can see uh, if it was submitted, signed and so on. So you can see here, I just signed it. They just get a, a little bit data when it was signed and so on. And they know that the type of transaction was assigned in and they know who signed it. So in this case, there's your account address, but nothing else. And uh, yeah, that's the sign in function. So as mentioned, it doesn't matter if you click on disconnect wallet or not. So it doesn't give, give them any special power to, I don't know, take your funds or remove them or whatever. And also this so-called sign in transaction that, that nothing happens on the exit ledger if you sign in. It's a so-called pseudo transaction. So we can see this here in the docs. When sending a JSON transaction payload, you can use all XRPL transaction types, including a, some specific pseudo transaction type sign-in. So you can see here the sign transaction, and the main idea is as mentioned, so then we have the payload lifecycle here, but the idea is that you can sign in one time, and then when you're using the website, that they can continue preparing payloads for you, and push it to your phone, and you can decide if you like it or do not like it. Uh, so you have to sign a transaction, or you can decline it, or just don't sign it at all, and it will run out of time. And yeah, that's exactly how it works. So if you click on some sign in, just the only thing that this website can do after connected is get, send a notification to my phone in this case and tell me, yeah, I've got something for you prepared. Uh, would you please sign that? So now I can, let's mention I'm connecting a wallet here. And if I do, for example, something, let's say I want to do an account set or I don't know, let's do, well, let's say I want to delete my account, why not? Oh, well, it's impossible right now. I'm um, just thinking what you should do. Well, let's say I'm just going to set a, what's the name? I'm going to set uh, my regular key to account one. Let's do that. So if I do that again, uh, so right now I'm quote unquote signed in. And the only thing that website can do is if you can confirm, now my phone gets a push notification and it's telling me, yep, uh, somebody wants you to sign something and it's completely up to you, so up to the end user, if the user wants to sign it and if it thinks that's defined, then we can decline it or close it or ignore it. And yeah, that's more or less how this entire sign in functionality works. And also there are no real risks affiliated with that. However, when you're signing transactions, please always read what you're signing. So right now, okay, I can start uh, my emulator right now. 
But the most important part is when you get a push notification, please read what is on there. You can see if it's setting a trust line, if the thing is, uh, if it's an offer, or so if it means that you want to trade, or if you're doing, so always check what you're signing. That's, that's really more or less very important to do, that you act exactly, so now I can do it quickly. So now I'm gonna sign in again, one last time showing you that. So I'm gonna enter my super secret password. Perfect, so I'm gonna disconnect here again. And now I have to do the, uh, well, the, well, the hacky way of logging in here because now they don't post the URL, but they can copy the uh, address. So there we go. So I'm just going to remove the underscore Q. And now I can also open this on my phone, so on my emulator in this case. And if I do that, you can see that, okay, oh, now I've got the image, my bad. <laughs> um, obviously, it's not what I intended to do. I actually wanted to um, cookie copy, right? Work. Oh, oh, ah, my bad. I had dot png still in there. Okay, my bad. Cool. So I just did a mistake here, and if I just paste it again, then there we go. Now I can just open it in the app. I can sign it as mentioned with the PDF. Now I'm logged in, and if I do anything, for example, want to buy some Solgenic. So one Solgenic, let's say I want to do that. So right now, uh, I, a, a notification is being sent to my phone. So now I can see here, yeah, so there should be a push notification. Maybe it's not showing up right now. Okay, oh yeah, because it probably has, so yeah, it's showing up on my other phone, I guess. No, isn't it? Okay, so I'm just gonna try it again. Okay, let's try it again. My bad, maybe there's something wrong here. But generally speaking, you should get a push notification to the phone you signed in on. And yeah, that's how it works. So right now I can't really tell you, so it seems to be buggy because we're just signed in twice or whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's how all of it works. So as mentioned, so the only thing I would say, the most important part is please always check uh, whenever you sign something, please read the text carefully. So it shows up on the phone and, they tell, and it shows exactly as mentioned what the purposes or what, what, what it wants to do. So right now I'm just gonna try it one last time. And this time, but I'm gonna this time click on not received. And then I can just copy again the QR code just to show you more or less how the sign in uh, looks. Oh, one, two, one, two, three. There we go. And as mentioned, so then a push notification will come. So this is the old payload. Uh, there we go. So if I uh, now look at, at the payload that has been prepared for me, so the transaction webs that can prepare for me, you can see here, this is right now on a type, under the type in blue, you can see the type of transaction it is. And right now it's a create offer, means it, it's a trade. And right now it shows you I want to sell 1.7 XOP in exchange for one solo. There's a 0.01% fee and there's a memo and now I can just slide and sign it. If I don't do that, nothing will happen. And I can also click on close and click on decline if I don't want, to have, want it to happen. And yeah, that's exactly how the sign works. So maybe it works now, I'm giving you a notification, want it? Ah, uh, still not, okay, well, never mind. And yeah, that's more or less everything there is to tell about that. You can also read about it in the payload life cycles and so on. Um, would I recommend disconnecting the wall from websites? So generally speaking, probably because um, there, so these websites, however, can still submit transactions to you and then you might, uh, well, accidentally sign it. Uh, but overall, there's no, uh, no risk affiliated with being signed in. For example, oh no, you forgot to log out from some community or well, XFL service, or oh no, we forgot to log out from Solgenic. Uh, that's it's usually no problem, but the most important part and the yeah, the most important part is just please check exactly what you're signing. So when it, when something shows up on some and it's 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 showing slide to, slide to the right to accept, then you need to understand what you're exactly signing here. Okay, and uh, yeah, that's that's all the uh, well security measures, security guidance I can give you here. Uh, yeah, and also what I've seen a lot, please write down your secret keys. So please write down secret numbers. Uh, 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 there and there here people uh, losing the secret numbers. So when you have like this, I'm just gonna generate one here. If you have these numbers here, you have to write them down and keep them safe. If you lose your, you cannot retrieve them from the sum map. And if you lose your phone, you will not be able to access your account at all. So it's more or less, it means that you lost your private keys. So please write them do down, safeguard them and don't lose them or at least back them up at multiple places, uh, maybe in, into a file on the USB stick where the file is encrypted and so on. So please take adequate measures.
All right, so yeah, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful for understanding the sum login. Uh, yeah, see you in the next video.